It's time for Rabbi Minkowitz's Weekly Torah Lesson, a place where life's most difficult questions are answered. Here with his spiritual perspective and insight, Rabbi Minkowitz. Welcome to this week's Torah Lesson. This week's Torah portion is Pashas Pinchas. The question of the week is, how can you live a divinely inspired life? So in this week's Torah portion, Pashas Pinchas, we learn about the way they divided up the land of Israel amongst the tribes. And the Torah tells us that they did a... Um, accounting of how many people were in each tribe and based on the bigger tribe they got uh, more and based on the small tribe they got less and so on and so forth but then the Torah says that they, they used a lottery and they just put their names in the hat and based on the lottery came out that's the that's the pieces of land they got so the Rebbe asked the question it's a contradiction if they took a census and they counted up the amount of people and they appropriated land based on the amount of people that's a logical system if you're saying they did a lottery, that's illogical. Now, there's two good systems, but the question is, you either pick a logical system or an illogical system. You can't really have both. But nevertheless, they chose to do both. And the Rebbe explains why they do that. To teach us two, two important points. One important point is that we have to use an intellectual, understood system because God wants us to use our brain, God wants to use the heart, God wants us to use all the talents He gave us. But on the other hand, God says, still make a lottery. Because I want you to remember, after all your calculations, who runs the world? God is the one that runs the world. So to answer the question, how do you live a divinely inspired life? To use the gifts that God gave you, intellect, emotions, abilities, and talents, but to remember that all the abilities and gifts that you have came and comes from God. This week's Torah lesson is dedicated to the memory of Baruch ben Ari Leib and Shlomo ben Yosef. May their souls be elevated by the Torah we're studying in their memory. I'd like to wish a special Mazel Tov to our daughter Zeldi on her marriage to Nachmi Rosenberg. Thanks so much for joining us for our weekly Torah lesson. For additional classes at Chabad or any other information, please see our website. <laughs>